All right, guys, that is so disappointing. So I just recorded for probably about 10 minutes or so without recording any of the audio. So I just explained the whole situation and everything and started setting up the island just a little bit. But now I will kind of re-explain that a bit since the first audio didn't record. So right now, um, I guess, first of all, welcome back. We're doing season three now. It's been a very long time since I posted on here. Really just got super busy between work college but what sparked me to come back to was not only do i love this game and i love recording this for you guys but i got a lot of really cool comments um telling me to come back saying that they like my videos we're up to 168 subscribers which is huge for me so i love it i'm super excited for the season gonna try and put out one to two videos a week and i won't be at the top of the leaderboards by any means but i'd love to get the season rolling and get some farms set up so all that i did <laughs> in the first segment that didn't record properly. All I did was I went ahead and I broke the lucky block 10 times, I claimed my kits, and I just voted. So we're gonna go open up the vote crates and then after that we're gonna start building out the island a little bit. Also what I did was I just took a look at the mastery tools. Looks like the farmer's harvester, I mean that's the one I really care about, is definitely a little bit harder to get and then level up than last year. Um, doesn't look too much harder to level up, definitely harder to get. Last season it was three farming masteries, or tier tier one and three farming masteries. This year it's six. I keep saying this year, this season. So as far as crops go, what I'm looking to do is I wanna go through and farm wheat, carrots, potatoes, sugarcane, beetroot, and cactus, I think are the six that I'm gonna do to get the mastery tool. Then once I get the mastery tool, I'm gonna create a massive sugar current sugarcane farm like last season in carrot farm and really get those going it's a great way to level up masteries and we can really level up that tool as well let me come over to the crates Ooh, different crate area than last year this looks way better why does it look like there's so many different crates now do they add crates i don't think they did it just looks like it because it's a different layout but let me go ahead and claim my votes we got all four here so i'm gonna go ahead and open all four at once for the sake of time we just got blocks. Okay, that's cool. It looks like it does scale this season a little bit more. I was saying that too with the lucky block is that in the change notes it says that it scales a little bit better this year. So I'm kind of curious if I keep breaking the breaking the lucky block, um, what rewards it'll actually give. So we'll also pop open this cosmetic key just because I don't think it sells for enough to be worth it. Particle, yeah. I don't really use particles, um, but I will go ahead and sell these blocks. I know last season I was placing them for island value. I will do that later on, but right now, as you can see, we don't really have any money. So I do want to get some more money. That just tripled our money right there. So definitely worthwhile to do that. I'm gonna have to spend a ton on dirt and sand and stuff for farms. So definitely need as much money as I can get. I'm not quite sure where to start. I definitely want to set up a Automatic cobble gen farm. There's a couple really good ones out there. I had a really good one last season that I think I could recreate pretty easily. And then I also really want to set up farms. Um, you guys know that I really like farms, so that's going to be my top priority, I think. But they're a lot more expensive to actually set up. I have not much dirt. So I'm not quite sure how I want to do my island this year. I keep saying this year. I'm not quite sure how I want to do my island this season. Last season it was pretty disorganized of just some miscellaneous stuff and chests on the level with the lucky block, including spawners, and then I just had farms below. Not quite sure how I want to do things this time around. I think I want to start a lot lower and kind of build up maybe, and then have this be a spawning point pretty high above. Oh, I guess I still have fast place on from last season. That's kind of funny. Cool, so why don't I go ahead and I'll just build a dirt layer here. We'll start farms, I guess, on this layer. I mean, I kind of have to now. I already built the best place. So we'll build this out a little bit. I'm thinking this will be my sugar cane farm. Keep that up top and then build down from that, I think, is the best way to go about it. I mean, we're going to need this whole area of building. That would be water, 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 water water and of course i think this should be water um we're just gonna do it a little off center then i'm sure that will bug plenty of you i think that gives us a pretty good start getting started is always a little bit slow um i think i might be best off setting up a cobble gen 
to then get money to fund a farm. Because right now, I just don't have enough to really get going. I mean, yeah, I can make an infinite water source, which I probably do here anyways, just so I have it. But it's definitely a little difficult. And there we go. Infinite water. This is going to take a while. I'll probably speed this bit up a bit. Alright, I just bought a couple blocks of iron on the auction house so I can have some more buckets just to make this a little bit more time efficient. Alright, my PV3 is just going to be all my farming stuff, so I guess I'll shift over the dirt into there as well. i place that there. Alright, cool. Well, we have an area set up to start sugarcane farming. Oops, as I fall into the void. We have one piece of sugarcane. That is fantastic. Guess we'll plant that. Let's see if anybody's selling it. 24 piece. Yeah, we'll buy it. That'll speed things up a lot. There we go. I don't think there's any other sugar cane that's worth buying on the auction house right now. Okay, I think I need to create a cobblestone gem. I think that's going to help me out a lot in getting money and just kind of leveling things up overall. Um, so I think that's a good place to start. Let's see if there's a lot of cobblestone in the auction house. I just need cheap blocks. 50 a piece. Okay, sure. I'll buy two stacks of cobble. Just enough to build out a platform and actually make this thing. So, I need to remember how I made it last time. Um, unfortunately, I can't exactly just go back and look. I have fast place, so I should probably use that. I guess we'll go fast place five. I also applied. I don't know why I wasn't utilizing that. But we'll build a nice little platform. Um, actually, I want to make sure that I'm doing this all in the same chunk, because that's something I did not do last time. And it kind of messed things up. So let me build out this way a bit. We can have a nice... I'm actually... Yeah, that's fine. Let me take off fast place. Let me build right up to the edge of this chunk. Probably gonna have to buy more cobble after this. It was so nice last season having so much money. <laughs> it's always tough starting out. I checked the auction house so much, <laughs> just in case anything gets thrown up there really cheap, because I found some really good stuff before. I miss fighting the dragon boss and everything like that. Somebody just offered to sell for $1 per sugarcane. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, awesome. So now we have sugar cane. So actually, I'm going to finish planting the rest of this. Because that's definitely going to help us out the most, for sure. This might be... It's definitely not going to be enough for the full layer, but I think it'll help us out a lot. I think we can get at least a good bit of this done. So I guess I'm just going to keep placing water and stuff so then, the, so then that can grow while I'm doing the mining. I think that would be the best way to do it. Oh, problem is dirt, though. I don't have dirt. How much does that cost in the shop? Probably way too much. That is so expensive. I'm gonna have to, because it'll be so worth it. So let me get this going off of each side here. All right, let's get this going. That's crazy. I need so much more dirt. I also didn't think this through. I was thinking that it was going all the way across, but it just wasn't. I really need more dirt. I'm assuming there's none on the auction house. Oh, sweet. I'm gonna buy even more sugar cane. And I'm gonna speed it up again, because this is boring to watch. All right, and there's row two done. I can't exactly do more right now because I didn't connect the dirt, but we'll at least throw sugarcane around this area. I really wish fast place worked on sugarcane, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't unless they change that. No. Yeah, what I really need is sky coins. I forgot that's what sells for a ton. Oh yeah, so I basically just disappeared um, because I moved back to college and classes have just been crazy. I'm taking six classes. I'm graduating pretty soon from college in less than a month now, and my classes have just been absolutely crazy. Taking six of them right now, and then I'm also working pretty much full-time as well, and then I have some side projects and stuff going on, and most of my most of my classes I have group projects going on, and that's just a really big commitment because I'm not only holding myself accountable, but I'm also accountable to the team. So I've been really busy with that. And then again, working full time, but 
hoping to have more time once I graduate. I'm gonna be working a lot right when I graduate, but I think I'll still have more free time than I have now. So like I said, hoping to get back to actually having some time to play video games and chill out a bit, but it's been really tough. So that's where I went for a while. Like even now, I'm basically just procrastinating homework right now um, that I should be doing. I forget exactly how I did this cobble gen. Um, let me just expand this out a little bit, the edge of the chunk, and we're actually past the edge over there. Okay, cool. So I need an opening on one side. So actually, why don't I do that over here since this already extends beyond so then I can have it mine all the way across. Problem is I need a ton of lava for it because I made all of the lava source blocks and I don't know if that was necessary, but I think it at least helped with the speed of it. So I guess I'll start by building out kind of a skeleton for this. So I think I had this too high here. Right, so I'm gonna have to run through this. I had, um, let me start with this because I'm pretty sure this is correct so far. If I at least build out this area. And I need to buy more cobble. That's not correct. This is supposed to be one wide. I don't even have super breaker yet. I'm gonna break all of this slowly. Let's try this again. Yeah, sky coins are definitely a good way to make money, but I don't have a good way to make sky coins right now, so it doesn't really matter too much. So what we need is we need water flowing down to here, and then lava source blocks here. Yeah, we need water like flowing out and down here. Man, it's tough being so far behind. Last time I started right at the beginning of the season and it made things so much easier because I was at least keeping pace with everyone, but now I'm starting so far behind. So since I have been gone for a while, part of me wanted to just come back with season four whenever that is, but I didn't really want to wait that long and hopefully you guys still watch me starting out even if you guys are way further ahead. So let me know if this is still enjoyable or if I'm better off finding something else to post in the meantime until we get to season four while out. Okay, so I think my next challenge is just gonna be getting enough lava. Water's fine because I have an infinite source, but I definitely don't have enough lava. How much does lava cost? Oh, 200 each, that's fine. Actually, is it? I have like no money. I'm just gonna buy as much as I can. Okay, cool. That will hopefully be enough. Gonna grab buckets and fill them all with water. I think I want a floor here. I think I might need to move all this forward one block. Yeah, I think I built this too far back. Oh, that's really unfortunate. We're gonna go with this for the time being. <laughs> A better way to go about it. Bring this across. Yeah, I think that's right. I have stuff in my overflow backpack. Forgot about that. I don't really want to build with dirt on that, but I can at least expand the sugarcane farm. All of this stuff is just from when I was claiming my kits when I recorded, but it didn't record right. This will be great because now I can really expand the farm and then I can get some sky coins and money and we should be looking pretty good. Problem is just filling all of these. It takes so long. Take a look at the island upgrades. I actually didn't look if it's any different than last season. Lucky block upgrade. That's new actually. That's actually really cool. I like that a lot. Pet egg finder, nether realm, never made it to that. Um, island beacon. I kind of want speed too. Man, this server is great, but it is time consuming. I don't have a lot of time. It's gonna be hard to progress. Although, definitely my favorite server I've ever played on. So, so I don't mind putting a lot of time into it. It's just tough when I'm so busy. Well worth the time investment. I have a ton of fun and great community of people. I will say it's weird to be back. I haven't played games in a long time just because I've been, well, like I keep saying, just really busy with school, but it's really good to be back. I just remembered something. I think I can get money in Sky Coins if I can find a public mob farm. Totally forgot about that. Like I said, I keep forgetting that people are actually a lot further ahead, so this might actually help me out. Since I can just farm their mobs if they have a Vex spawner or something. Problem is I don't have a good sword for it, but anything is better than nothing. Grind mobs. Let's see if they have Vex spawners. Oh my gosh. This is actually insane. A huge Hogwarts thing. Whoa. This is crazy. Tier 5. Tier 7. Are those Vexes? I don't know if they have Vexes in here. Ah. They do. I wonder if I can sell Vex heads if I get some of those. I wonder what those are going for. Actually, let me check. Because that would probably be pretty good. Vex. Oh my gosh. 
Looks like I could probably get 500k per head, which is <laughs> huge for me. And we just got one. Sweet. Man, I missed my multi-kill five. Ooh, is the shop different? I think they have more stuff in the rotating shop. Oh my gosh, they're sold instantly. Okay. Well, now I have money. So now I can actually start to start making some more farms. That's huge. All right, let me kill these vexes and then I'm gonna throw up some more vex heads on the auction house, probably for 600,000 each. Although I might just do 500 so they sell right away, just let me have the money to keep building. We'll just throw them all up for that. And there they go, they sold right away. So now we have money, so let me go back to my island and let me buy dirt. I just got so much money and the thing I'm spending it on is dirt. It seems kind of sad, but I'm gonna purchase the whole inventory of it and make sure that I can actually get the rest of this up and going because I'd like to get this whole sugarcane farm up and then end the episode there. All right, now I have a full inventory of water buckets, so should speed things up a little bit, but I'm still gonna speed this up because it's gonna take a while. All right, there's all the water placed on one half of this. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is this episode, get this half of the sugarcane done, and then I'll do this whole side off camera before the next episode, just cause it's gonna be really boring for you guys to watch. Also, since I'm too busy to finish it right now, then I can get this episode out a little bit sooner and then just do that on my own time later. The fact that it took me until now to remember that I have night vision. All right, let me take a look. It might be worth it for me to get speed two right now, just so I can play it faster. I think it's honestly worth it. All right, let me grab speed so then I can place things faster. Might do crop growth rate. I don't know if that applies to sugarcane, but I'm gonna need that for sure. Um, also, island generator would be really good, but I can get more sky coins soon. So let me go ahead and do the growth rate just in case that applies to sugarcane. I don't honestly remember. I swear this is gonna give me carpal tunnel. <laughs> Sometimes I actually, <laughs> when I do play Minecraft more, I do actually need a wrist brace, which is <laughs> really sad. Whenever I have to wear it, people are always like, oh, what did you do to your wrist? Like, are you okay? Like, yeah, just too much typing or too much gaming. And I really shouldn't have wrist problems at 21 years old. All right. Well, I think that just about does it for now. So I'm going to end the episode here. I'm definitely hoping to continue this. Probably post one, two times a week from here on out would be great. Of course, finals are coming up, so that might not quite happen, but I'll do the best that I can. Obviously, I'm starting a lot further behind everybody else since I'm so late to the season, so let me know what direction you want me to take the series in. Um, I'm not opposed to going in a different direction if you guys have cool, unique ideas, since I'm obviously not going to be going for top of any leaderboard since I am starting so late. So, so let me know what you guys think, and I will catch you next time.